Hey everybody, my name is Jody Dahmer and thank you so much for watching Beargrass Thunder. Uh, what we're doing today is going on the Clifton Chicken Steps. This is one of my favorite locations in Louisville and you're about to see why. We're in the historic Clifton neighborhood and as you can see we're pretty high up. Um, Clifton is literally a neighborhood built on the limestone cliffs around Louisville. There's a huge amount of elevation as you get closer to the Ohio River and the floodplain and people needed a way to get from point A to point B but more importantly they had to find a way to get their chickens. So we're going to talk more about that as we take a tour of the chicken steps. Alright so we're at the Clifton chicken steps and one of the first things I see is how steep this thing is. So the chicken steps were built originally in the 1800s whenever people first started living in Clifton and when the early Louisvillians first had uh, homes here they really raised a lot of livestock poultry themselves so of course uh, what do you do for eggs but you have to have chickens right and so if you live in an area with steep cliffs a lot of drop-offs what happens when your chicken flies the coop what happens when your home is up here on the cliff and the chicken flies all the way down there if you don't have a way for your chicken to get back or for you to go down then that's a loss of revenue and Frankly, you know, it, it's a pain in the butt trying to go from here all the way around to Brownsboro Road. This was probably built uh, as a way for residents who lived in Clifton to get down to Brownsboro, but uh, apparently they got its name the Chicken Steps because all the chickens used to roost on these steps coming up. Uh, they originally used to be wood, but in 1970, I believe 78, uh, they actually got switched to concrete. So we're really fortunate to have such a really neat, quirky thing in Louisville. I like the handrails, you know, I feel safe even though I'm walking down really steep steps. Yeah, not only steep, but like inconsistent too. <laughs> yes. So here we have a brush pile. And this inherently is not a bad thing. Over time, these branches uh, will actually uh, turn into nice compost for the hillside. Um, one thing that does trouble me a little bit is you can see that the plants on either side of the chicken steps uh, really look to be a lot of honeysuckle. And it's starting to smother out a lot of other things. You can see winter creeper in the bottom here. Uh, really, this whole hillside is full of invasive plants. And so I would really think that it would be uh, nice to maybe do some kind of planting thing out here, put some more native flowers in because you can see up above, it's a really pretty view. <laughs> right here. Oh yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. But imagine a chicken. Imagine yeah. <laughs> a chicken. So, even got a ramp going to the pharmacy here. Shows how many people actually use this. That's pretty cool. More asters. Mm-hmm. Supposed to show how important those flowers really are. It's just cute. So Richard, what are your thoughts on this? Wait, maybe I could. Well you can't just spray. Whoa, that's not, whoa, whoa. That's not <laughs> you how about how about you go for a little walk? <laughs> Alright. Right. I wonder how many people have tried to grind this on a skateboard. <laughs> Just go flying. Right? I mean it really is directly out there. Some wax and uh <laughs> it could work. 
See, what I'm kind of shocked is that in... Yeah, this is a really neat asset that I think is in this neighborhood, but doesn't look like it's landscaped hardly at all. Yeah, I mean, with just a little bit of work, um, this could honestly look great. We could get all these invasives out of here and get some native plants or maybe even some some uh, trees that fruit. Ooh. Like pawpaws or... Uh, spice bush. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> We have a little mini food forest going here. Oh you. my gosh, that, that's a great idea. Lots of walnuts. <laughs> yeah. Here, you wanna you wanna roll it? All right, here we go. Yeah, Ooh. That kind of disintegration. <laughs> Walnut rolling. I love it. Almost. <laughs> I don't know what the objective there was. <laughs> Something happened. Well, to me, what I like about it is that it's a ramp for a really long way. I thought the chicken steps were going to be like steps the whole way down. Right. But I'm really happy that it's not. <laughs> my my uh, hamstrings are thankful. If you look up above, you see these compound leaves. Uh, so this is a walnut tree. And you can actually tell by how ridged that and dark that bark is. But also, you can tell by the absurd amount of walnuts that we are walking over. Yeah. But also, if you look around and you see walnuts on the ground in late October, that probably means that somewhere around here is going to be a walnut tree. And walnuts are really interesting because you can actually take the husk of this and make a dye from it. Um, that's what uh, early settlers and uh, uh, Native American tribes have actually used before. Uh, but the really interesting fact about the walnut is that the chemicals in this husk, uh, the brownish pigment, they actually have a chemical inside this that prevents other plants from germinating. And uh, most plants in the forest are <laughs> uh, you know, most plants in the forest are able to resist it that are native to the eastern woodlands. But uh, it's kind of fortunate because the more black walnuts are in an area, the less likely the chance is that invasives will fully take over. Uh, because for non-native plants, it's really hard to grow with this chemical being on, on the soil. Let me try my hand. Oh yeah, see? Ooh. All right, so this is the chicken steps here in Clifton. I had no idea this was here before, and it's honestly really cool. Well, if you need to walk your chicken, now you know. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell.